so i don't think this is going to be a very long video and i'm so sorry about my voice if it sounds a bit funny um i don't know what it is but i finished the sun and the star yesterday and oh my god it was so freaking good yes i finished this it was a five stars for me i loved this book while i'm not too familiar with marcus shiro's writing i could definitely feel the elements of him in this book and it was wonderful i really really enjoyed it i felt like even though this is still classed as a children's book it did touch on so mature themes again i really appreciate that we had a whole discussion a couple of discussions actually about sexuality which i think was just wonderful to see and it was done in such a tasteful way where it's not like you're being bombarded with it um a bunch of unnecessary information but it's done really really well where it's stuff that you should know and stuff that the younger generation should know i just annotated the crap out of this copy as well i read i read like the last 20 percent while i was at work and after i finished it i was just sat at my desk thinking this just ain't it like what is going on so if you're not familiar with this book or rick ryden in general rick ryden writes a lot of books based on mythology um his famous series is the percy jackson series up here nico d'angelo is the character in this book the main character in this book following him and his boyfriend will solace will i'm pretty sure is also in the percy jackson series yeah definitely but they both met in one of the series which one i can't remember but eventually they got together they're boyfriends now and it's just so freaking cute and in this book nico and will travel down to tartarus to save an old friend who has been calling out to nico but once they're there they face a bunch of trials a bunch of challenges and so so many demons i freaking loved the journey that we went on in this book the first half of it is them traveling to the underworld so many mind games have been played on them the poor absolute poor things <laughs> my heart and then the last half is them traveling to tartarus doing what they needed to do and then coming out and the ending of this book was just so beautiful nico and will are very loved in this fandom for an absolute good reason nico i felt like is someone everybody related to in some way or another he always talks about the darkness in him how he feels like he doesn't deserve the good things and the light how he doesn't understand how he ended up with will and then you've got will oh my god i loved will in this book i'm so glad we got to see more of will will is just sunshine absolute sunshine and not just because he's the son of apollo but the way he supports nico in this book like are you serious obviously when they were in the underworld and in tartarus will struggled we could tell that he struggled again he's the son of apollo they've been told all these stories about the underworld and how it's a bad place it's a dark place how they shouldn't go there how they shouldn't travel there whereas we've got nico on the other hand who considers it his second home to nico the underworld is everything to him it's what he knows that's his home and i know that will struggles with that and you can definitely see the shift in their relationship and the strain that this puts on their relationship too i think it doesn't help also the fact that nico keeps so much bottled up inside when the person that he should be telling is will and will literally says this in the book he is like you know i wish you opened up to me more we got some new characters in this the trogold lights what are they called trog troglodytes troglodytes the troglodytes what amazing what an absolute delight the way that they trusted will and nico and the way that they helped us while on our journey oh my god incredible they are so so cute and at first we could see will not really warm to the idea of them but then as they went on in their journey and as the drug delights helped them get to the shortcut will really really came around then we have nyx i can't stand her oh my god i don't think i've ever hated anyone so much she's she's got issues she's got issues she doesn't like the way that bob has reformed oh and the person we're saving is bob nico has a feeling that it's bob and it turns out that he was right and those regeneration blisters in tartarus oh disgusting but nix was basically forcing bob to relive his regeneration cycle every single time and he couldn't get out and i can't imagine how awful that must have been she wanted him to go back to him being an actual titan being a piatis a Peters, something like that. She didn't like the fact that he reformed and he wanted to do more good. I love Bob. Oh my god, I'm so happy we got to see Bob again. Like this was just perfect. I felt so much happiness as well in this book, especially when we actually rescued Bob. And he was like to Will and Nico when they went into the canoe on the river again and they were trying to get out of Tartarus. And he was like, You guys can rest now. You both saved me. Let me save you. I was like, stop it. And we also saw small Bob i love small bob i was so happy to see small bob oh my god the way that he came to our rescue as well they i don't know what gender it is but the way that they came to our rescue as well and then small bob and big bob were reunited 
chef's kiss that was perfect i feel like when all the characters came out of tartarus they all had such a different outlook on life especially nico it must have helped being going through all of that and then coming out on the other side realizing that you know what he is strong and he is capable and he is worth so much more than what he thinks he is and then we find out about the quest and who actually set the quest it was hades i was so shook by that i didn't think we would even see hades in this book but we did and he was the one that set the quest and then we got that moment with him bianca and um their mom oh my god every time nico says mama my heart breaks such a beautiful moment they both got to see each other it was like something that isn't necessarily done Hades was like I shouldn't really be doing this like everybody was saying to him how proud they were of him and I just <sighs> like that was closure that was closure for Nico you know to finally move on and realize he's worth so much more he thinks he doesn't deserve good things because he blames himself for a lot of things. So Nyx, that nasty cow, she has like these cocoa demons so they're like her kids. Disgusting. And somehow she managed to raise them out of Nico. Like his inner demons have come to life and there's these little creatures and they're called the cocoa demons. Nico managed to get control of them, managed to bring them over to his side and now we call them cocoa puffs. I love that. And the way that the book ended with Nico, Will and the cocoa puffs in the bed together. <laughs> i love the fact that they wanted to follow him he was said he said to the coco puffs oh you guys you know you're free do what you want in tartarus but then when they were leaving tartarus they were running for nico they wanted to go with him like are you serious that was so freaking cute i just can't nico has just been through so much that seeing him happy in this book especially at the end just made me so happy made my heart warm the first time i met nico was when i first read the Percy jackson series when i was like 15 16 i want to say they were some of the first books i picked up and they changed my life they were just incredible then i went on to read the heroes of olympus and so on and so on and nico always stuck out to me as a character that i knew was going to become so popular or probably already was um i just loved him i adored everything about him his anguish his pain his fears his everything was just resonating within me too rick Riordan is just a master of making you feel so many emotions making you feel giddy happy but also mixing in a lot of pain and a lot of sadness and this book had that in tons and definitely did we couldn't just help root for nico and will they were just the perfect couple they are the perfect couple they need each other so much when nico was fighting nix at the end and will was watching he was saying that nico looked so different you know and will was saying then that it's time he let out a bit of his own darkness are you serious they are so well matched i just can't and oh my god all the all the beautiful flashbacks not necessarily flashbacks sorry all the stories that they told Gorgia was it to get the canoe the story of when they first met the story of their first kiss Nico came out or when he was trying to ask Will out on a date and accidentally came up to the whole camp that was just oh my god at first when we saw that when Nico did come out with that big thing and he was you know nervous and embarrassed and scared and the way that it was just like the way that he just said you know what he could own it and he could make it not a big thing and he did that and now it's not a big thing it's just him and who he is and I just love that so much like I think for some people they forget that Nico was born in the 1930s and that is still instilled in his mind because I've seen people make comments about Nico saying that oh it's not a big deal anymore you know it's the 21st century he can come out he you know he's gay it doesn't matter blah 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 but like I said he is from the 1930s where he probably could have been killed for who he is as a gay person so let's just calm down with that one yeah he's literally a teen from the 1930s living in the 21st century that shift i feel like is never talked about enough especially even in the books i feel like it's not talked about enough but we have to remember that fact about nico it's a big thing about him but yeah i don't really know what else to say i feel like i talked quite enough about the book i just love this book so much it's definitely one of my top books now in the percy jackson universe i just love it i love it so much i can't stop thinking about it i'm gonna go back and tab the parts that i missed as you can see this part is looking a bit empty because i read this on my phone but i highlighted i annotated like i love highlighting more than underlining i feel like it just stands out a bit more oh my god literally this part says nico went through tartarus alone but he certainly didn't have someone alongside him who cared about him and who was invested in making sure he survived the journey. Honestly, I don't know how he did it. Seriously? 
but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this if you did watch this if you've read the book please let me know your thoughts i hope this wasn't too wishy-washy for you but i just wanted to get some feelings out because this was excellent i'm so glad we got this book this book is so important and will be so important to so many people but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.